Artificial intelligence, high forms computing, and telco applications are all driving an insatiable demand for bandwidth and power efficiency. Optical I.O. is the perfect solution to that. It's going to give you the dramatically increased bandwidth density, much lower power, and much longer reach. The DARPA Pipes program is working on building a new generation of I.O. solutions that uses optical technologies to break some of the key constraints that the current generation of technologies in the market are facing. The long-standing relationship between I.R. Labs and DARPA has helped us to achieve a first-of-its-kind demonstration where we've implemented CMOS-based optical I.O. chiplets inside the same package as an advanced SOC. Our in-package optical I.O. chiplet, which we call Terrify, is a single monolithic chip built on a 45 nanometer SY CMOS process. A single Terrify chiplet has 80 lanes of optical I.O., which supports an aggregate of 2 terabits per second of optical bandwidth. And this single chiplet has about 50 million transistors and a few hundred optical devices on a single chip. The Terrify chiplet consists of a wide parallel electrical interface, and we use the open source AIB interface today. And this is used to communicate to the co-packaged host ASIC. Now, the optical input-output coupler array is used for coupling light into and out of the chip, forming the optical I.O. ports. There are a number of on-chip waveguides which move the light from the optical input-output couplers to the optical transmit and receive circuits. And these optical circuits form the transceiver macros that perform the electrical to optical, and the optical to electrical conversions. We use microring resonators and wavelength division multiplexing to achieve unprecedented energy efficiency and bandwidth density. Today, we've shown better than five picojoule per bit energy efficiencies with error-free transmission at 25 gigabits per second per optical channel. In today's demonstration, we have four macros on this chip powered up in transmitter mode. One of the macros has eight wavelengths of light coming into it and actually sending out eight wavelengths of optical encoded data. The other three macros are enabled to show that all the channels are functional, and we're showing all of the electrical eye monitors from each of those channels. We're able to configure the chip to run each channel at different data rates. This demonstration is an 800 gigabit per second per chiplet demonstration, and this is comprised of eight wavelengths, each running at 25 gigabits per second times four optical ports, which brings us to a total of 800 gigabits per second total. Now, if we extend this to the full capabilities of what the chip is designed to do, we can run each channel at 32 gigabits per second, and we have a total of eight optical macros built on the chip, and this brings us to an aggregate bandwidth of two terabits per second, transmit and receive on a single chiplet. In addition to the single die package demonstration, we're showing a demonstration of our full solution. We have our Supernova optical power supply connected to a multi-chip package which integrates a partner SOC with IR Labs Terrify optical IO chiplet. And we're showing that the partner SOC can send data through our optical IO chiplet using our external optical power supply as the laser source. Our current solution scales to aggregate bandwidths of tens of terabits per second. Now, future generations on our roadmap are able to go to 100 terabits per second and beyond. And the chiplet ecosystem allows us to mix and match and cater aggregate bandwidths to different SOCs. This multi-chip package is the outcome of the DARPA chips and DARPA pipes programs. DARPA has been a very important sponsor of this research and development, and we've achieved first-of-its-kind world-class breakthroughs with the help of DARPA.